So today, we're going to go through this. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, with it being a bit of a weird time at the moment and me spending an awful lot of time at home, indoors, I have been doing far too much online shopping. <laughs> so, I did a bit of the island order. And this is what we got. So I thought today we could go through this bag, have a look what's inside, have a look what's new in River Island at the moment and do a bit of a try on haul. So you guys really liked my try on haul when I did my H&M haul and I did a bit of a review of the clothes and you just absolutely loved it. So I thought we could do that again, we'll try the pieces on, I'll show you what they look like. I think it is really helpful to be able to see what they look like or maybe like a body that's kind of similar to yours. So for reference, I am five foot nothing, five foot exactly, and I'm like a size 10 on top, size 12 on bottom. So I'll let you know sizes as well as we go along so that I can tell you what's true to size, whether you should size up, size down, everything like that so that it's as helpful and informative as possible. And of course, I will be linking everything down in the description. So if there's anything you like from this video, be sure to check out the description for direct links to each item. So let's jump straight into it and have a look at what I picked up at River Island. Now the first piece that I picked up will probably be no surprise to anyone because I am loving the organza trend at the moment. So when I saw this online I was like I need this in my wardrobe and I need it in my life right now. So it's this gorgeous organza sleeve kind of peplum style and it's actually a jumper. Like it's quite a jersey material which I didn't really know what kind of material was going to arrive. It's, sometimes it's quite hard to tell online and it's this really really soft like jersey jumper material. Now it comes in at the waist at the bottom to give this like peplum style which I think is really really cute. We'll see what it looks like on. This is a size medium and it's from the petite range so it should come up quite nicely on me. I sometimes find with the peplum tops they're not as flattering because I do have such a short torso and so like the peplum can come down like bang on my hips which is obviously the widest part of your body and then flare out and it just makes me look even bigger. So this should come quite nicely, sit nicely on my waist and flare out to be really, really flattering. So we'll see what it looks like on, but so far I love it. I think it's really cute and I just love the little organza sleeves. It's actually got like a dobby sleeve as well. So if you saw my What's Trending on the High Street, that's two trends in one. So well done River Island. <laughs> Okay, I am obsessed with this top. I think it's so, so cute. I've literally just shoved it over the trousers that I have on at the moment. So obviously I wouldn't wear them with white trousers, but I would wear it with maybe black leggings or black coated jeans or blue skinny jeans. I think it would look really, really cute. I think it's better to like counteract this top because it is quite big and like puffy to go for something a bit tighter on the bottom. But I really like how it looks. It's really comfortable actually. Like the fact that it's this jersey material makes it really soft. And I just love the sleeves. I think organza sleeves are just my vibe to a T and I love how they look. So this one definitely keeps going straight in my wardrobe and I love it. Now the next item I picked up, I absolutely loved online. It's now arrived and I'm a little bit unsure, mainly because it looks very small. So I picked this up in a 10 petite and the waist just looks quite tiny. Now it is a stretchy jersey kind of material again, but sometimes when dresses need to stretch around here, it is not flattering. So we'll see what it looks like on, but I think it's really, really cute. I really love the sleeve detail. So it's got these gorgeous like frill sleeves that kind of come out. So I think that'll be really, really flattering on your arms. And I love how it's ribbed. I love a ribbed jumper. I find it really comfy and normally quite flattering. So we'll try it on, we'll see what it looks like, but I do love the look of it. Okay, I actually love this dress so much more than I thought I was going to. I thought it might be a bit unflattering and like kind of cling here, but it's actually so, so flattering on me. The way that this material is made is just gorgeous. It's really hard to show you the length, I'm sorry guys. But the length comes like just like mid thigh I'd say, which I really like on me. I find it really flattering and makes me look a lot taller. And I just love the sleeves. I think they look so, so cute. This is like a perfect garden party, barbecue, kind of like a summer day of like drinking maybe. I think this is the perfect dress for that and I love it. You guys know I love my square neck tees. So when I saw this online, I was like, I need it in my life. So it's this stunning ribbed detail, kind of like a very thin jumper. I'd say it's not, it's like a thick 
top is really difficult to describe um, but it's long sleeve it's got this really cute puff detail sleeve and the square neckline with the lace detail i think it's so so gorgeous and a really great staple to have in your wardrobe it can be styled up so many different ways with so many different outfits and it's a great basic to have so that you can kind of layer it with different pieces I really love the square neck. I just find them so flattering and I can't wait to try this one on. I picked this top up in a 10 and it looks like it's going to be the perfect size on me. It's not too loose. Um, the main thing that I sometimes struggle with is with square necks because again I have a short torso. Sometimes they can come down a little low. This looks like it's going to be okay so we'll try it on. We'll see. But I really love the look of it. This top I knew I would. I think it's such a gorgeous wardrobe basic the square neckline is so flattering it doesn't actually come out as far i sometimes find square necklines can come like really far and it's just a really nice like sits really nicely i don't have to worry about tucking my bra in or anything like that and the sleeves i love the sleeves they are just so soft so comfortable and really easy to wear the rib detail is gorgeous i love the lace detail around the neckline and i don't have a bad word to say about this top Okay, so this next skirt just screams spring to me. It's a really difficult colour to describe. I'd say it's like a cream, warm, beige kind of a tone. And it's this gorgeous like A-line style with this paper bag waist detail at the top and the tie belt. I absolutely love a paper bag waist. I think I've said it before on my channel, but I find them really, really flattering. How it comes in quite tight and I just think it's gorgeous. Like it's styled correctly if you've got like a tighter thing underneath and then the paper bag. It just looks so, so cute. And I really like the gold button detail. River Island always nail the detailing in their outfits. And I just love the gold buttons on this. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. And I picked this one up at a 12. Um, mainly because I'd rather size up a little bit with regards to skirts like this. Because you can just cinch it in with the tie waist. I find with paper bag you do not want it to be tight. Because if it's tight then the paper bag is kind of the same as the rest of it you want it to be a bit looser so you can cinch it in and make your waist look as small as possible okay now moving on to the skirt i love the skirt as well i think it's really really flattering and looks absolutely gorgeous i was a little bit worried about the tie waist because i sometimes find with like pleather material the tie can slip quite easily and river island pleather is like normally really soft um, and supple and sometimes the belts don't stay but I think they've used like a different formula for this a different I think they've used like a different material for this I'm not sure but this is not budging like I've tied that up that is not moving which is fab I think it's gorgeous the length is stunning on me I really like how it comes kind of mid thigh just above my knee and this is normal length so if you are a bit taller it might come up a little bit shorter but often I find with these skirts, I struggle if they're not petite. This actually fits really, really well. I love the gold detail. This hides a multitude of sins, a multitude of food babies, and that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I am so obsessed with these shorts. Now, you guys know I really, really like little shorts for spring. I think they are such a great way to kind of get your legs out and style a more like spring-like outfit but then you can pair it with a jumper and boots and still be warm and cozy. So I really, really like these. I think they are just the cutest things ever. They're this gorgeous khaki green color and they have this stunning detail on the waist. I don't think you can cinch this belt in at all. I think it's just for display, um, but it looks really cute nonetheless and it's got a zip to get into at the back. I picked this up in a size 12, which is what I normally go for for shorts like this. And I think they're really, really cute. Now, they're not petite, so the only issue that I'm thinking is that they might be a little bit long. But I think with, like, more formal shorts like this, I think you can get away with them being a little bit longer. And it just looking, like, a bit fancier in the outfit, if that makes sense. Um, but I think these are really, really cute. Okay, these shorts are gorgeous. And they have pockets. Guys, they have pockets. I absolutely love these. I really like them styled up with this top as well. This is exactly how I'd style it for spring, maybe with like a pair of biker boots and a cute bag. And I think it just looks so perfect for like springtime. I really like how these look. They're so, so soft. And lengthwise, it's really hard to show you because the bed's in the way. But lengthwise, I think they're perfect. They come up like mid thigh again. And I just love how they look. I think they're so, so perfect. And they fit perfectly and I couldn't be happier. 
this top is going to be very difficult to show you so I'm gonna to have to rely on the cutaways for you to be able to see what it looks like but it's this stunning bardo style detailed black top and it is just gorgeous it has this stunning lace detail at the top if I come in it's so so gorgeous and what I really liked about this is that normally Bardo stars come as a bodysuit and I'm not the biggest fan of bodysuits I find because I've got a shorter torso they can often go quite like rumply and just not as flattering so the fact that this is a top not a bodysuit was a big selling point for me I really like this style I love how it looks it's gonna like just be draped across here with like nice jeans a pair of heels and a cute bag and i just think it's the perfect date night or like jeans and a nice top kind of an outfit okay guys this top is stunning i could not be more obsessed with how this looks it is gorgeous it's such high quality i feel like this feels like something from revolve i can't remember the price of it but obviously it'll be in the description but for something that's high street like this for a price like this. To have something such high quality, it's just amazing. I really love how it looks. I think it's so, so flattering on like my chest. I think it looks really gorgeous. If you were to have like a really slick back bun and really like show off this detail, I think that would look so, so cool. It is obviously a little bit extra, but that's what we're here for, for something that you just wanna feel gorgeous going to. I don't know, like a fancy meal or a date night pair of leather trousers, heels, this is perfect. I also picked up some shoes, so let's get into these. I feel like sometimes high street shoes get overlooked a little bit, but as I was browsing River Island, I stumbled upon these and I fell in love with them. Now they're this gorgeous, huge, chunky sandal. Perfect for spring, summer. I really, really like how they've got this like platform, but it's not blocked. So I've seen a lot of these styles of sandals that are just like a block here. And it's just, I don't find it as flattering. I think it looks a bit too clumpy and it's just not my style. So when I saw these, I was like, these are what I have been waiting for. So they have these three straps here and they look absolutely gorgeous. I picked these up, I'm a size three to four and I believe I picked these up in a four. Yeah, UK four. So I'm like between sizes. So usually I like to size up in my shoes to a four because I'm literally like a three and a half, which is so frustrating. Um, but these should, they look like they're gonna fit really well, um, but I'll try them on. So, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of feet, so I'm actually gonna show you these just for a hot second, um, but I just wanted to say how well they fit. They're really, really comfortable, and I just love the chunky platform underneath. I think it's so, so flattering, so I'm very happy with these. Okay, guys, I have saved the best till last in this haul, and this bag is just the cutest thing I have ever seen in my life. Now, I'm not normally one to pick up like trend bags. You guys will know I quite like having like my classic basic bags that you can wear with any outfit. And I don't often go for high street bags, but I saw this on the website and I was honestly just like, I need you in my life. You are going to change my life. This little pink bag is gonna change my life. So I had to pick it up. It is so tiny and so, so cute. I think it is just gorgeous it's this stunning hot pink color and i really do not have a lot of hot pink in my wardrobe i barely ever wear the color so i think it's going to be easy to style up mainly because my wardrobe consists of beige black white exhibit a so i think it's going to be easy to style just to add a pop of color to an outfit and make it look a lot more spring like and it's just the cutest thing i've ever seen i just love it i absolutely love it now i also just wanted to show you the bag with all of the packaging off I would literally style it up with something like this. Probably not the shorts because I think the pink and the green just doesn't quite work. But with this top, maybe a pair of black leather trousers, black boot heels, and a lot of makeup, like really cute pink eyeshadow. But I just love this bag. I think it is the cutest thing in the world. It's so, so tiny. But actually, I reckon, but actually looking inside, I reckon I could easily fit like phone, keys, purse, lipstick, perfume all the things that i need for like a night out i think would fit in here perfectly and i just love how it looks i mean is this not the cutest bag you've ever seen in your life i can't get over it 
Okay guys, so that was absolutely everything in this haul. I know it's not the biggest of hauls, I just picked up a few things that I wanted to add to my wardrobe for spring and just show you how I'm styling them up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave me a comment letting me know what your favourite item from the video was. I love it when you guys do that. I find it so interesting to see what your favourite pieces were. And I hope you guys join me for my next one. If you do want to see more videos from me, be sure to subscribe. We are growing so quickly over here and it excites me so, so much to see so many of you joining the Tutelli YouTube community. And it just makes me so, so happy to have you here. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.